Mikel Arteta has a problem. Arsenal cannot create. What used to be an inspiring attack with fire has driven up and quite simply our play in the final third feels like driving across a dry desert. Regarding Arsenal's insistence to continue to cross a ball into the box, people, can we be surprised when you look at what Mikel Arteta said in 2020 and how we've obviously performing at this moment in time? I don't mind it. My only issue is currently it's not working and it feels stale and predictable versus Inter Milan, despite the amount of crosses, it simply put didn't work. And rightly so, Arsenal are now being labelled Stoke City. And Tony Pulis has a new apprentice in the sense of they're calling Mikel Arteta the Priella Pulis. There's obviously some factors. There's an over-reliance on Bakayo Saka, Martin Odegaard, who is the linchpin and the creative hub has been missing. But how far does that exactly go? I believe Mikel Arteta has become a bit unbalanced. I think he thinks 98% about the opposition which again I don't mind but it needs balance the other remaining percentage is about Arsenal stamping their identity specifically in the final third or better yet us currently failing to do that again people there has been some external factors personally I think Arsenal's current form and injuries only simply highlight an issue many people would have told you last season rightly so that we got 90 odd goals but when you broke it down a lot came from set pieces which again I don't mind but it's also about balance when that's not working, currently we don't appear to have any solutions. Why else would you not play someone like Ethan? non -wary. In terms of creativity, yes, he's inexperienced and he's going to learn. And I believe isolated to Ethan's development, I think Mikel Arteta is doing right. But it's specifically in what we need in the team, I now think it's nothing to do with Ethan. It's just simply put, Mikel Arteta reckons he has better tools available for what he currently wants to do on the football field, which is beyond creativity and which Ethan is obviously obsolete in that regard. And also, I don't mind crossing, but we barely create for someone like Kai Havertz, people. You look at the amount of high-intensity pressures, pressures, so the amount of times we press people, that's still there. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, football wins goals and there's an issue with all of this in that we need to score goals if we want to win football games. We're playing less through central areas. We're over-reliant on the right-hand side. Service-reliant players that have their own question marks in Kai Havertz and Martinelli have been starved as well. So we're not putting our best foot forward. Again, there's potentially other factors, but this could also be a reason we seem stuck in games. Yes, there's been red cards, but we've actually, courtesy of Opta, spent the majority of our games drawing versus of Obviously winning people, according to Opta once again. As I've been saying, people, I'm all about balancing life, as you can see via my opinions. For me, I like the fact that, maybe not so much where we find ourselves at the moment, the fact that we're defensively solid generally. There's an emphasis on defending. We kind of overthink about the opponent. But that being said, people, personally, I think we need a bit of balance. I think Mikel Arteta has gone the other way to the point where I'm not naive. I'm sure he's got his own way of doing things. I'm sure he wants to play attacking football. I'm sure he wants to score goals. But to me, as an ignorant fan, it's like we overthink about the opponent. And that's great. But we don't put our own stamp or identity. And again, for a team that's defensively, you know, meant to be Tony Pulis or Jose Mourinho, we're not exactly defending that great. And also we're not scoring goals. And also when you break it down, people, you know, when you break it down, you know, you look at the Inter Milan game, Kai Havertz is, Saliba is crossing the ball, let alone Kai Havertz is on the left-hand side crossing the ball. Kai Havertz is one of the tallest attackers. Does that make sense? You're crossing it to Gabriel Jesus, who's my height, probably about five foot eight. I'm going to claim five foot nine if there's Gally watching. But Mikel Arteta has got to go back to uh, go back to the drawing board. I don't know if he needs to, um, you know, unleash the shackles of the players, let them have that healthy bit of randomness. But what I do know is we need to start playing with a bit more invention and intention in the final third. And the players have got to take responsibility. I like the fact that we can't go down the left. We go down the right. We're kind of patient, but it's like we throw a lot of jabs, don't quite throw that punch. And to be fair to the players, you're only doing what Mikel Arteta is telling you to do. And, you know, you're doing on a match day, what is the result of from the Monday to the Friday, typically what you're doing in the training ground. So, you know, you take away the set pieces where we actually haven't been clinical. We're in issues and, you know, goals win games. Yes, on the face of it, you know, the season before last, we had 80 odd. This year, well, last season, apologies, we got 90 odd. Yes, that shows we've got the capacity to score goals. But as I always say, when you break it down, Bakayo Saka is the only one in August you look at and think, yeah, you're going to be a Amongst goals and assists. Trossard has showed in his last two campaigns he can get double figures for assists or double figures for goals. Kai Havertz, you know, had a great goal scoring run at, um, in the second half of last season and no doubt he'll get double figures. Martinelli's fallen off a cliff, 
strength, but he does have the capacity to get goals. And if we could somehow get the Gabriel Jesus of six months ago, well, his first initial six months, you never know. But again, when you break down who is getting the goals, how we're getting the goals, and obviously, naturally, if teams know we're great from set pieces, we'll still, still score from them. We've done it a couple of occasions this year, but they're going to be a bit more switched on. So, uh, you know, how are we going to score goals? Ultimately, goals win games. And I personally think Martin Odegaard comes back. We look a lot better in the creative department and also the defensive department. But I think it's naive to expect, you know, Martin Odegaard, the class region, our captain to just simply put, get back in the team and we're back creating. If one man is how we live or die by creativity, then we're not really a creative side. I genuinely think Martin Odegaard's absence merely highlights an issue. This time last season, maybe not to this extreme, but we had an issue for chance creation. Then we kind of addressed that around the time where we lost to Newcastle and, you know, I think we lost away to Aston Villa and chance conversion became the issue. Goals win games and we need to start now, really, because even when you break it down, whatever you've got to say about this team, when you've got Martin Odegaard, when you've got Bukayo Saka, Odegaard, Trossard, Jesus, Martinelli, they go off to some other teams. They're scoring goals. These are not bad attacking players. But if everybody's, you know, struggling, what's going on there? You know, again, a good tradesman is only as good as the tools he's got. But at the same time, it's like we've gone to Halfords, bought all the best hammers and drills and all of these things. And we're not using them or utilising them in the right way. There's always a trade-off. If you're going to be a bit more better in the final third, then you might be a bit susceptible in the middle and defensive third. And likewise, if you want to be solid defensively, you know, there's going to be a bit of a trade-off. For a while, we was spot on defensively we'd get the goal try break us down which was an issue we knew we'd get a couple of chances a game literally minimal and typically whether it's across to the back post or a set piece we're running away with it but right now everything around the football club needs to improve the middle third the defensive third and the final third and again when it's all going right you have to praise Mikel Arteta I'm not saying he's alone or we should have pitchforks but when it's all going wrong you have to look at the gaffer really because again this season simply put is about fine margins and simply put getting over the line with that being said though that's all I've got to say appreciative to you lot for making it to the end of the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe most importantly stay safe stay blessed peace